Alright, so welcome back to our channel, The Sips Peters TV. And for today's vlog, uh, pag-usapan naman natin kung bakit ang buga ng similia ng barko ay puting-puti na. So upang malaman ninyo yan, at pag-usapan natin yan. So unang una, ang dahilan kung bakit pumuputi na ang osok na binubuga ng mga barko sa Siminia dito sa International Water dahil sa scrubber. So ang scrubber na ito ay mayroon siyang tatlong klasing scrubber. Open, open loop scrubber, close loop scrubber at hybrid scrubber. So ang scrubber na ito ay nagkakahalaga ng 6 to 12 million US dollars ang kada isang scrubber na install sa barko. So, depende yan sa laki ng barko. Kung malaki, so nagre-range siya ng 12. So, kung maliit, nag-umpisa siya sa 6 million dollars. So, bakit lumabas itong scrubber? Samantala, yung mga fast years na mga barko, ay hindi ito pinag-usapan. Ang nangyayari dito, nagsisyon yung Maritime Environment Protection Committee or MEPC doon sa London at kasama yung International Maritime Organization, nag-uusap sila na kailangang i-enforce ang regulation itong January 1st, 2020. Pero napag-usapan nila ito noong 2016 pa, by the month of October. Pinag-isipan nilang mabuti kung ano ang gagawin na maislas ang sulfur emission na ilalabas sa mga barko. Dahil, alam mo naman ngayon, eh, nagkaroon ng climate change. So, kung hindi yan mapipigilan natin by 2030, 2030, so baka yun ang problema yan. Problema ng malaki dahil alam mo naman siguro, ang sulfur ay isang dahilan na mag ang ating ozone layer. So, ngayon, napag-usapan nila na ang mga barko na, na mag-nabigar sa international water, kailangan i-slas ng 80% ang kanilang sulfur. So, dati, ang heavy fuel na ginagamit pag lumabas yan sa Siminia ay mayroong weight yan na 3.5 weight percent na sulfur. So, ngayon, i-slas nila ng 80%. So, ang ilalabas ngayon, sa ngayon, puting-puti na, nakikita niyo sa Siminia, puting-puti na, ang lumalabas dyan ay nagre-range ng 0.5 weight sulfur percent. So, kita mo, nag-islas ng 80% ang mga barko para lang pumuti yung usok na lumalabas dun sa Siminia para makatulong pa tayo sa kalikasan. Ngayon, ang problema nito napakamahal itong uh, scrubber na ito. So ngayon, pinapili yung mga owner kung ano lang gustong i-install. Yung iba, nagsuggest na, okay, mag-LNG na lang ang fuel ko. Yung iba, nag-start nag ng uh, metanol, nag-start ng ethanol. Lahat ng paraan ginawa nila para ma maka-isla sila ng gasto. Ngayon, lumalabas yung gastos nila. Pag ito ay LG o liquefied natural gas ang gagamitin mo, gagastos ka ng 20 to 30 million US dollars. Napakalaki. Dahil babaguhin pa yung mga makina mo para mag-compatible doon sa LNG, generator, boiler, lahat babaguhin. So, malaking gasto. Kaya, napagkaisa nila na dito na lang tayo mag-focus sa scrubber. Kaya lumalabas ngayon ang scrubber na tatlong klase. Ang open, close o hybrid. 
na scrubber. So ngayon na introduce na ito sa lahat ng mga barko. Itong sinasakyan ko ngayon ay bagong install ng scrubber. Nakikita niyo noon sa Siminia, puting-puti talaga. Hindi ka na makakita ng itim. Whereas sa mga fast years sa aking pagbabarko ay talagang itim talaga. Dahil walang scrubber yun, direct na heavy fuel, direct pag uh, start ng engine, pag lumabas dun sa exhaust, talagang mayroon siyang 3.5% or more na sulfur kaya yun ang nangyayari sa mga barko ngayon na puting uh, puting puti na ngayon, dati napakaitim, so dito sa Pilipinas sa atin, mayroon pa wala pa to, hindi pala to na introduce to, dahil nakikita ko sa mga barko dyan sa may na Manila ang usok na napakaitim whereas dito sa international water puting puti na ang makikita mo dahil pag dumating na doon sa control area ng uh, North American Coast kailangan puting puti talaga ang usok na ilalabas doon dahil pag ikaw nakitaan at nakikita sa satellite nila na itim ang binubuga mo napakalaking penalty sa barko so maaari pang uh, hindi ka na makapasok sa Amerika so itong open scrub, open loop scrubber ay napaka ito yung pinakamura kasi ang open loop scrubber ay hindi ito lahat ng mga bansa na ano siya uh, tinatanggap kasi ang ang pinaghugasan doon sa scrubber ay itatapon niya direct sa dagat. So ngayon ang tinatapon niyan doon sa dagat ay mayroon siyang pH na 3.5 3.5 pH. So napaka acidic ito. Napaka acidic. Kaya pag ito ay lumabas doon sa dagat lalo na kung nasa puerto ka o sa mga coastal coast ng mga bansa medyo nagkaroon to ng problema dun sa mga isda o ba pang mga mammals na nakatira sa ilalim ng dagat pero pinahintulutan ito ng IMO na gagamitin ito sa malayo dun sa coastal sa, tulad nung uh, magdabigat kami sa gitna ng dagat, ito'y ginagamit pag ngayon, pag nag malapit na kami sa sa emission control area or uh, tinatawag na ika ay mag change over kami ng diesel so instead na heavy fuel oil mag uh, change over kami ng diesel para makuha pa rin namin yung required na 0.5 weight sulfur percent na ilalabas doon sa sinia yun ang uh, kagandahan doon kaso nga lang, alam mo naman siguro yung diesel ay costly yan mas uh, malaking gastos pero wala tayo magagawa yan dahil kung hindi mo yan gagawin magpipinalti ka so ginagawa yan upang mapigilan ang malaking or TV penalty so ngayon, yan ang uh, ini-introduce ngayon so ngayon pag-usapan natin kakausapin natin yung ating uh, engineer kausapin natin sila siya kung ano ang uh, iba pang kaalaman about sa open lock scrubber. Panoorin ng sulod na video. And I will suggest you if you want any information, you want to learn anything, please subscribe Ships Metals TV. We have open loop scrubber. So what is the function of the open lock scrubber? Actually, open loop scrub, there are two types of scrubbers, open loop and closed loop. Uh, for now, Tom is having open loop scrubbers on all their feet. So what happens is exhaust gas from generator and uh, main engine and uh, the boilers go through the scrubber. Scrubber what it does is just exactly like the inert gas scrubbers we have. It pours down the water on the exhaust uh, exhaust uptake going and it uh, cleanses the exhaust from any soot particles and uh, reduce down the brings down the exhaust temperature, which uh, uh, simultaneously reduces socks and knocks at some at some uh, parameters socks is the major reason for the uh, 
installation of uh, scrubber but uh, NOx can also be reduced by installing a scrubber since it is bringing down the exhaust temperatures also after the uptake. Yeah, there is a regulation for the fuel, not the scrubber. Uh, actually, as per the regulation, uh, we are bound to use uh, sulfur uh, as point in the exhaust. The sulfur content should be less than or equal to 0.5% mass by mass. So, we have two options. Either we can use uh, VLSFO, the new blend we have come with, uh, very <coughs> low sulfur fuel oil, or uh, we can use the open or uh, closed uh, also hybrid type of scrubbers to reduce down the final uh, sulfur content so this scrubber is can reduce the sulfur emission on on air yeah actually we are burning the hfo heavy fuel oil only uh, right now presently in our uh, ship we are burning a fuel with uh, sulfur content of 2.53 percent mass by mass so by installing scrubber uh, we are reducing the amount of uh, sulfur going outside in the air so we can bring down the soot particles going outside and the sulfur also. Alright, so can you see something about the scrubber? Yeah, in scrubber uh, we have been given about four parameters on uh, each side, inlet and the outlet side. Inlet is the from where we are taking seawater suction for the scrubber so that we can uh, cool down and wash away the uptake exhaust. And uh, secondly, we have been given four sensors at the uh, outlet side of the scrubber. What is we are discharging, what kind of water we are discharging. So for that we have been given a sampling pump which is taking sample, there is a sample line which is taking uh, from the discharge side of the <coughs> scrubber. From there we are testing this, uh, testing this water and uh, we are testing mainly four parameters, pH, what is the pH of water, that is uh, how acidic or basic it is, telling us the basicity and acidity present in the discharge water, pH, pH is polyaromatic hydrocarbon, it is basically the aromatic cycles actually in layman terms it is ash which is already naturally present in the fuel which can never be burnt so it washes away with the discharge water so it tells us how much amount uh, the ph we are discharging in our overboard discharge water so there are <coughs> certain limits up to which we can uh, keep this ph ph values values and also the flow rate how much flow rate we are get getting uh, through our sample pump and uh, one more thing is the temperature on the inlet and discharge side what uh, temperature of uh, discharge uh, we are getting at the inlet and outlet side of the water uh, and now talking about the uptake exhaust what kind of exhaust it is going so it shows uh, tells us the co2 to so2 ratio <coughs> that how much carbon dioxide to sulfur dioxide we are releasing in the air after washing away the soot particles and uh, sulfur and we can measure the flow rate also that how much amount of sampling gas we are uh, it is coming uh, for the sampling of the of such parameters over there so on these basis of parameters we can judge whether our scrubber system is working fine or is there anything we have to do to make it fine thank you okay thank you very much and i will suggest you if you want any information you want to learn anything please subscribe ships fitters tv